Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Birendra Sasmel, who is CEO of Suba. Birendra, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Thank you very much. Now, perhaps you could tell us a little bit. Uh, we'll start off, let's talk about uh, Suba. What, is, what does Suba do? Uh, Suba, normally an ICT company, uh, but we are focused on the revenue monitoring and increase the revenue for uh, government or telecos. And is it, your, is it your first time here at Telecom World? No, this is our fourth time. That's what I thought. Yeah. Exactly, you're a familiar face here. And what are Suba's major achievements in network rollout within the past year? Uh, we have been able to successfully roll out few of the unconnected villages in Africa. Uh, we have so far connected around 130 villages uh, through the mainstream operator. And normally those places operator are not reachable in terms of uh, connectivity, in terms of infrastructure. That is the place we use our solar technology to implement the base stations network over there. And where is Suba based? Uh, Suba based in Ghana, in Africa. In Ghana, right. And what are the particular challenges there? Uh, particular challenges in African country as such, uh, not only Ghana. Uh, number one is that uh, road connectivity to one place to another place. Number two is that there is not uh, continuous flowing of electricity for any kind of businesses you do. This is a two uh, main constraint could be. And how can you overcome those challenges? I think uh, uh, there are a lot of governments are taking uh, initiatives in terms of how we can uh, efficient distributions of electricity or gas based electricity, solar power based, based electricity, and that's the one way. And uh, the World Bank also a lot of initiatives taken for connecting those villages through road constructions and all that. Even local government also trying to do that. So the particular difficulties in network construction, how did you solve those? Uh, in general, uh, why people are not able to uh, establish the network over there because of uh, electricity, continuity of the electricity. So we have come up with the solar power technology which work on the solar based. So we need not to take the uh, electricity uh, over there. So it works uh, in the solar system so that itself is giving an efficiency of running continuously without the power, uh, I mean electricity, normal electricity. So that is one way of, uh, uh, you know, we are able to build the infrastructure for connectivity. And do you have any suggestions or expectations for, for governments? I mean, are you getting support in Accra, for example? Yeah, uh, uh, we get, uh, I mean, uh, there are uh, some countries having a uh, separate fund for developing those infra infrastructure. Like in Ghana, we have a GFIC, uh, which uh, normally uh, focus on ICT building and infrastructure building in the rural area. And every uh, telecom operator spends some of the money to those areas. So there's a common fund from there which government initiative. So some governments are really uh, initiated those activities. And finally we're here at ITU Telecom World and wanted to find out what's the value of attending events such as this for you? Oh, I think uh, what value we do is that every time when we come, we come out with a, a new uh, mindset like what we can learn from here. And also what are the new things we are doing over there uh, those we are also display over here. So it's a win-win situation for we come out some of the partners uh, as a new partners, they have some product on top of their product, we give our solutions. It's like a tanky solution for us. Some of the cases uh, in IT we come out, some of the government agency seen our product and they are excited and we went there and able to uh, uh, you know maximize their revenue. Or, or we implement such systems over there. So this is the kind of a, a relationship we got through ITU. So we think that is a forum where we can learn and we can give something to the society. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>